Oh, my boy's got the sawed off shoddy. That's a sawed off shoddy, right? He said, oh yeah, it's war. I'm about to avenge my mans. I'm about to avenge my mans. Oh, the monster sound like he's coming back for you, dog. Oh my God. You just gonna kill Ben like that? The last time we looked at back rooms, I was bragging. I was like, I'm a back rooms master. I know it all. I was talking hella crap. And y'all, y'all humbled me in the comments. Y'all was like, if you know back room so well, then what's the shady gray? What's the wretch? I had no clue. I thought I knew it all. Like after I had learned about the MEG, after I learned about the almond, super almond water, I was like, it's a bet. I'm in the back room community now. I'm big shotter back rooms, man. Like no one's top dog to me on the back rooms, fam. Bars, by the way. But I was wrong. So today, I got some back rooms um, films for you again, because they're like, they just keep getting more fire and people keep getting more creative with them, which is, I think is really cool. However, before we watch it, we're gonna watch a video called The Infamous Wretch, Backrooms Entities by Brugley, who is a backrooms master and explains everything really well when it comes to it. So, you know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna learn about what a wretch is. Next we have wretches. Okay. These are another zombie humanoid creature that were apparently once human, uh -huh. but due to lack of food, water, and sleep, mutated oh, into these wretches. Oh, we've seen wretches. this thing before. The process of changing into a wretch is called the wretched cycle. This process oh. can be slowed, but never stopped. The only way to slow it is to provide proper food, water, and rest. Gotcha. But like I just said, you cannot stop the cycle. So once you get it, your toast. A so wretch's rat. behavior has been documented as somewhat intelligent, but oh. somewhat hive mind like. In rare cases, they're known to craft and to wield weapons, oh. but the majority act in a sort of hive mind sense. They have superhuman strength and are typically fast on their feet. However, oh. some are slow and just meander around like zombies. In order to avoid the wretched cycle, which you should do at all costs, you have to stay rested and well hydrated gotcha. and never so you need that under super almond any water. circumstance attempt to save a wretch that is on stage three of the wretched cycle because there's no hope for him then. Now we know about wretches. We are caught up. The Shady Grey. Let me, I need to look that one up too. Give me a second. The Shady Grey are a set of unstable sub-levels that are extremely rare and difficult to get to. The levels all consist of black and white grayscale, unstable environments that few are able to survive. The MEG has sent many field agents to attempt exploration of the level, and currently only one has returned alive. Despite this, a lot of valuable information has been received from the agents who were sent in. Currently eight of the sublevels have been discovered, but it is unknown exactly how many there are. There's a lot of info on the back rooms, and I'm sorry about what I said last time. I know nothing. Obviously there's way too much for me to find out at this point, I mean, there's not way too much for me to find out, but I still have a lot of learning to do about the back room. Please keep hitting me in the comments. Please keep like explaining stuff to me and filling me in because that does really help the most. Like, I don't really know what to look up until y'all tell me what to, you know? Like, I'm not just gonna bump into back rooms explanations and stuff like that. So please, that'd be great. Now, the first video we're about to watch is called Talking Ben in the Back Rooms, part two. I never even saw part one. Let's watch the first one first. <laughs> Talking Ben in the back room's original. Huh? It's about to be some jump scare, bro. I can feel it. I can already feel the jump scare, bro. Huh? He's around the corner. He's around the corner. Yep. Wow, this was rel well edited. He's like really in there. I thought he was going to be like a floating Talking Ben. Y'all did well at putting him in. Oh, right. Oh, talking Ben dead. Talking Ben definitely just died. He definitely just died. Now let's see part two. Uh -huh. So we go back to see what the freak happened because he just got definitely just got kidnapped by whatever that monster was. Oh, the monster sound like he's coming back for you, dog. Oh my god! You just gonna kill Ben like that? And I love how this man is not dipping anywhere, bro. Oh, he's a part of the MEG. He's got the suit on, but he's not gonna dip anywhere? Like, you not scared, fam? What is he doing? Did he make some potion? Ben is dead. Oh, he lit him! Bumbleclot, he lit him! He killed it. He killed it. Ben, you good, dog? This is sick. 
Ben? Yeah, ben dead, bro. Don't even worry. Yeah, you're going to have to... Oh. I guess he's not dead. What the freaking frick? Y'all are get, getting crazier and crazier with this 3D. That looks so freaking realistic, bro. Like the whole, the MEG with his arm, the monster, like the flames. What? How are y'all making this stuff? This is crazy. I, I'm clapping it up. Who's, who is this? What's the channel? Tech Row Most. Well done, yo. Uh, well freaking done. For real, for real. That was, that was awesome. The next one we're going to watch is called Backrooms. The Escape by Gibson TV. to do we'll find a way out okay i guess they're trapped in the back rooms so do you know what happened back there there must have been traces of the mold found in the facility what to a lockdown up the threshold it's most likely all over us but as long as we don't take off these suits we'll be fine okay do you hear that ross help that person. some I don't think you want to. It could be a wretch. Huh? Could be a wretch. Y'all, y'all are going near it. Y'all are some bold people. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? You didn't. See Where's your peripheral vision, bro? You didn't see that big old thing running towards you? What the Ross? Huh? Oh, my boy's got the sawed off shoddy. That's a sawed off shoddy, right? He said, oh yeah, it's war. I'm about to avenge my mans. I'm about to avenge my mans! Good ending. You escaped. These, these are movies, yo. Y'all are literally making movies, bro. Like, what the heck? All right, this next one is by the homie Frag Two. Dropped another one. Backrooms found footage number three. Oh, we already starting in the mother. We just started, Frag. The video just started though, Frag. Like, we already getting chased? What happened to starting chill? Huh? What happened to a build up? All right. Boy, you best run. That thing is coming for those cheeks, my boy. What? Oh, okay. You made it out. You made it out the hood. Now, where we at? What a bumble. You already know Frag be having some freaking jump scares, so I'm like. You already know. Frag be having some jump scares, bruh. We got the creepy music. He trying to set us up. He trying to set us up, bruh. I know you are, Frag. You ain't slick. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All righty. Exactly. I'll go ahead and dip. Y'all just don't like running, bro. Like, when something crazy happens, y'all just be really sitting in there and watching. Like, I'm dipping before I even... I don't want to see the end. I'm out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ross. Oh, my God. What happened? Did it capture us? Where the heck are we now? In an arcade? What did that say? Elden Quest? Elben Quest? This looks like a real arc. Like, I, I'm pretty sure, Frag, you make your work in Blender, right? I'm pretty sure he makes his work in Blender, but this looks like it's real life. Like, it's me walking through, I don't know, some Dave and Buster's or something right now. 
Oh, all right. Okay. All right. All right. Let me. It's going to be right there, bro. Frag. Can we talk about this, Frag? We good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Y'all are wild with these, bro. Y'all are getting wild with these. All right, this last one we're going to watch. The Backrooms Lost Tapes by a channel called Shinoiki. Surviving an Entity Attack. The Backrooms have an estimated area of 4.5 million square miles. Dang. The chance of encountering another living being while traveling in the Backrooms is extremely low. In the unlikely event that you come in contact with a creature of any sort in the back rooms, mm -hmm. do not run away under any circumstances. What? Any movement or sound may aggravate the entity, and it knows the area better than you. That's fair. That's true. The following footage was recorded by an anonymous source. Some viewers may find the images disturbing. Alrighty. Sit in, you just gonna sit in between, bro? Are you trying to hide or what? You scaring me right now. Because something might just pop out of one of these corners, bro, and I'm just not prepared right now, you know? Like, uh, stop turning back and forth and just choose. Come on, dog. Where we going? You moving real slow for me, fam. I do not like how you just pan in the camera back and forth and walking real freaking slow. Are you crawling or what's going on? Like at this point, it's like you're waiting for something to come for you. Yep. I think he said don't run. I could have swore he said don't run. Oh, I think he's trying to run before a season. It's a wrap. Oh. He's coming for them cheeks, boy. He's coming for them cheeks. Heavily inspired by Kane Pickles on YouTube. Go subscribe to him. As Kane has inspired a lot of people to make these backrooms videos, and I freaking, I love it. I love it. I love when people get inspired by people's work and it causes them to create something because you just, that's how fire is made. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how the best things are made. You see somebody do something, you're like, oh, I think I got an idea on how to do it better. Yeah. And then that's how we always get something cool. So if any of these inspired you, please, please go make your movies, make, make something, anything you draw. I see y'all out here drawing, making beats making animations y'all be sending them to me and i'm just like this is ridiculous like y'all are insane just keep doing it keep uh keep working on your craft keep practicing and you will be great don't let anyone tell you that 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 you can't like for real for real. don't let anyone tell you you can't don't let anyone tell you that you need to go find a real job or that this isn't a useful skill it is it's very useful you can do a lot with it just on how you apply this skill, it's really all that matters. For example, when I was growing up, I uh, I did a lot of like, I dabbled in animations a little bit. I dabbled in animations a little bit, did mostly like video editing, graphic design, um, stuff like that. And like, I always thought I wanted to work in like the film industry, like for Pixar and stuff like that. Like just developing those skills on my own time at home. And little did I know that they work really well for a place called YouTube. And I'm blessed to have learned those things. And if y'all are learning a skill that you think you can't apply somewhere, I promise you, you always can. You, you you just have to be creative sometimes. I won't say YouTube is like the most creative place to apply the skill, but it was definitely something I looked past the whole time because I thought, I don't know, I couldn't make money from it or I can't live like this or any one of those. But no, don't. Don't listen to the old me. Don't listen to people being the old me, even if it's yourself. Enough of my tomfoolery. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these uh, backrooms tapes. If you did, give that like button a bumba clap. Bye. Subscribe to join the mother freaking flock today. 
I'll catch you next time, beautiful people. Stay sexy, stay blessed, and peace.